Wish I never got rid of my slug gun. Those birds. All right, <laughs> they're annoying. Here we are again, g'day. And I'm doing a double one today, even though I'll upload them on different days. But um, I won't be here tomorrow, or I won't be able to do it, so. We're up to number six in the advent calendar from Purvis Beer. And to tell you the truth, I've, oh, yesterday's one, well, I should say, well, for yesterday's one, but um, the one I just had earlier, I need something to wash it, that flavour out of my mouth. Um, and the funny thing is, it, it was made with a strawberry gum plant, if you haven't seen the other one. Um, but it sort of tasted really medicinal. But, you know, 10 minutes later, I'm getting that strawberry in it. But there's still that, 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 stink that <laughs> stink that eucalyptus -y type thing over the top of it that i just can't i couldn't get past and i tipped it out and to be brutally honest there's only one beer that i've actually got through without tipping the, the some of it out i am on a diet so if the beer isn't good i'm not going to drink it i drink most of the golden ale and all the epic pilsner the new zealand pilsner all right as i said we are on day six and this things are looking up I've heard a lot about Mr. Banks, but I've drank very, very little. They're not a beer I see in my local bottle shop. So this is a West Coast Lager, a lager again. Um, I don't know if they're known for their lagers, but uh, I've heard a lot of good things about Mr. Banks. This is called Coast Vibes West Coast Lager, and it doesn't say much at all. Store cold, drink fresh. Oh, that's it. I like a little bit more info. Haven't even got a date. No. That's a, you know, it's a bit disappointing for a modern brewery. And I'm sorry, Mr. Banks, I've heard some really good things about you. But unless I'm going blind, oh, there might be a date up there. I think there's a stamp date on the rim. Packaged 22nd of the 10th, 2020. So yeah, nice and fresh. 4.3% alcohol, made in Seaford. Oh, well, let's get into it. I was, I was thinking it might have been an IPA. I went and grabbed a glass. Get it focused. Get your act together. This glass looks a bit grubby. <laughs> a little bit of haze there, I can tell already. Not much, though. Yeah, you know, there's a little bit. Oh, I'm a bit scared that it was a rewaka then. I don't, I don't know. They smell a bit new agey. How, how do new agey hops smell? <laughs> there's something very New Zealand about those hops, I think. Oh, although it could be, a, there's a lot of experimental Australian, not experimental, but new um, Australian hops around at the moment too. So yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a fair bit of hop there for a lager. A lot of hop for a lager. I should give a few sips to get rid of that <laughs> eucalyptus thing I just tried to drink before. Very dry. Again, I'm, I'm not really getting any malt. It's all about the hop. I'm not sure what West Coast Lager is supposed to mean. There's a, I can actually, the yeast is coming through now. I can taste it, I can smell the yeast. It actually smells like they have used um, uh, a lager yeast. Oh, it's so dry, it just disappears off your tongue. It doesn't get to the back, you know. You, you feel it in your mouth and you go, oh, that tastes all right, and then pfft, gone. There's, a, there's a, a bit of fruitiness or something from the hops there that hangs around. Okay, we're back. The camera battery just ran out. I had to swap camera batteries. I don't know what I missed. It's drinkable. Summer's day. On the beach, looking over a beach, having a cold beer. It's okay. It's like a, again, like a, a New Zealand Pilsner. Something like that. And probably, I probably would call it NZ pills, although it's probably full of, it might not be NZ hops. Oh, there's something very familiar there. Sure if it's a yeast. There's a bit of yeast there that I'm familiar with and there's a bit of hop there I'm familiar with. Summer drinker, if you like a, a bit of bitterness, the, the, the malt's nearly non-existent. There's a tiny bit of sweetness there. Um, it's very, very light. Lighter than the camera even shows. As I always say, there's a bit more color in the camera. Uh, it's very, very, very light. Um, I, I'd nearly say that would be 100% Pilsner malt, but they might have used, you know, I don't know, oats or corn or, or something. Dry, dry as, really, really dry. 
I'm nearly thirsty after drinking it. <laughs> but yeah, if you like a, a hoppy, pilsnery type of thingy, you, you might like it. Cheers.